All right, good morning this morning and welcome to Master Talker online class. Today we'll be solving this simple uh, differentiation question. The first one said that um, that if uh, y is equal to x raised to the power x minus 1, then we should find the y dx, okay? <laughs> it's very, very simple. Now, whenever you have um, x raised to the power x again, okay, the method to solve it is just by finding the log of both sides, okay? Find lean of both sides. Take the lean of both sides. Take, take the lean of both sides. Okay, so we have that what? Lean y is equal to what? Lean x raised to power. Lean x raised to power x minus 1. Now, if you remember that lean is logarithm, and that if you have that um, lean, lean 2 raised to power x means that the x can go to the back. So you have what? x lean 2. I hope you remember that. That is for the laws of logarithm. Go and check my videos for log, log uh, of logarithm. So which means ln y is equal to this one will go to the back to have what? x minus y, uh, x minus 1 ln x. Okay? So now we cannot differentiate. If you differentiate ln y, I'm going to have 1 over y. But since I'm differentiating y, I must put what? dy dx. This is called, um, I think, uh, progressive differentiation. So go and watch my video on progressive differentiation. Anywhere you differentiate y, just put the y dx. Now, to differentiate this thing now, this is now product. Because I'm having two things. I'm going to apply product rule. And short call for product rule said, leave the first one, differentiate the second one, plus leave the second one, differentiate the first one. So leave the first one, x minus 1. Differentiate lin x, I'm having 1 over x. Plus, leave the second one lin x. Differentiate this, I'm having 1. Differentiation of x is 1. Differentiation of 1 is 0. So I'm having 1 over y dy dx is equal to what? What am I having here? x minus 1 over x. Okay? Plus anything times 1 is empty. Lean x. So if I, if I multiply everybody by y, this y will go. So I want my dy dx to stay alone. And this is division. Going to the other side to become multiplication. So my dy dx is equal to what? x minus 1 all over x plus lean x. Then multiply by what? Multiply by y. Okay? But we know what is our y. Our y is what? x raised to power x minus 1. So my final answer becomes x minus 1 all over x plus lean x. Then I'm having x raised to power what? x minus 1. So that is that for this question. So let's go to number two. Let's go to number two. Okay? For number two, for number two, I have that um, that y is equal to ln x plus the square root of x squared minus one. Okay? Um, you know, this is a chain rule. Okay? The uh, chain rule said, differentiate the bracket, differentiate everything. I taught you that. Differentiate the bracket, differentiate everything, or you use the normal formula. So if you want to differentiate this bracket, uh, differentiating this bracket, let me say let or let me use the formula. Let me use the formula, no problem. I can say let u be equal to what? X plus the root of what? X squared minus one. Okay? So du, so which implies that y is equal to what? Lin u. Uh -huh. Du dx. The u dx is equal to differentiate this one one plus differentiate this one is another chain rule, another chain rule. So I'm going to do it now. Another chain rule. Let me say let y be equal to what? Uh, this thing is certain as saying x squared minus one raised to power one over two. So let us differentiate it now by chain rule. Differentiate the bracket. So the y dx here should be what? Differentiate this bracket. I'm having two x. Differentiate something that has raised to power means what? Multiply by the power and remove one from the power, which is what? 1 over 2 into x squared minus 1. Then raised to power 1 over 2 minus 1. So what do I have? This can cancel this. I'm having x into x squared minus 1 raised to power what? Minus half. So due to the minus, we bring it down according to indices, which is what? x over x squared minus 1 all raised to power half. And half means square root. So which means differentiation of this will give me x over the square root of x squared minus 1. Okay? 
So now dy du, dy du is equal to, okay? Dy du is equal to lin u give you one over u, one over u, okay? So my answer becomes just to multiply the two. Dy dx is just du dx times dy du, okay? So du dx is what? Du dx gave us uh, one plus x over. Uh, the square root of what? x squared minus 1 times du d, uh, dy du is what? 1 over u, which is 1 over what is my u? My u is what? Uh, x plus the square root of x squared plus 1. Okay. So when they multiply each other, I'm having a. Um, okay. When they multiply each other, I'm having. Okay. First of all, let me solve here as fraction. The LCM is the square root of s squared minus 1. When this divide 1, 1, 1 times, I'm having the square root of s squared minus 1. When this divide by this 1, 1 times this 1, I'm having plus x. Okay, times 1 over x plus the square root of x squared plus 1. Now, this and the denominator, is it plus or minus? Sorry, minus. The denominator and the denominator are now the same, so they can cancel out. When this cancel this out, I'm having that my answer is simply 1 over the square root of what? x squared minus 1. That is my answer. Okay? As simple as that. As simple as that. The next one, number 3. A town hall. A town hall. Number 3 is a town hall. That is different from Balabli. Okay, so, so I have that y is equal to what? Lean x over x plus 1. Now, this is quotient rule. And the shortcut to quotient rule is said, start from V and what? End in V. So, I'll say, or start from denominator, end the denominator, which is what? Leave the denominator, differentiate the numerator, minus, leave the numerator, differentiate the denominator, all over denominator squared. If you don't want to use the formula, you want to do it straight. Okay? But if you want to use the formula, you say, let U be equal to what? Lean X, comma, and V will not be what? x plus 1. So du dx is equal to what? 1 over x, comma. dv dx is equal to what? 1. And the formula said dy dx is equal to v du minus u dv. Uh, let me just be putting the x. All over v squared, okay? So if I have this, Sorry for the time wasted. Okay. So just apply and then you get your final answer. If I apply this thing now, we are having. So if I apply this formula, we are having that what? V, what is my V? X plus 1. Okay. DV, the U dx is 1 over X. Minus what is my u? Lin x bracket 1 all over what? Uh, x plus 1 all squared. Okay, so if I have this, what is now my final answer? My final answer becomes my final answer becomes um, this time this I'm having x plus 1 over x minus lin x all over x plus 1 all squared. Now, if I solve this by LCM, I'm having x plus 1 minus x lean x all over x. That's according to LCM, all over again. But this x will come down to meet this one, to have x into x plus 1 all squared, okay? So that is the result, okay? So the next one, number 4. Number four is a charged station that will be used to, to roast barley. So, number four said that y is equal to ln sine cube x. Now, this is the same saying, this is the same saying, y is equal to ln sine x, all cube. And don't forget what I told you about log e that the power can go to the back. So, this is the same saying, three ln sine x. So, and this is still a uh, chain rule. Differentiate the bracket, 
differentiate everything. So the y, the x, I want to use the shortcut, leaving your three. Then I say differentiate the bracket is sine x. Differentiate sine x, you have what? Cos x times differentiate everything. Differentiate ln something will give you what? One over what? That thing. So what are you having now? Three cos x over what? Sine x. And cos x over sine x is what? Cot x. That is the inverse of tan. Cot x. The inverse of tan. So that is that. The last question. The last but not the least question. The last question said that y is equal to what? Uh, log x over x minus 1 base what? Base 10. Okay. Okay. So, uh, there is a law of log reading that said, whenever the base is not e, you know that lean, lean means log with base e. So, it's lean that we are familiar with. So, if the base is not e, bring in back e by yourself. So, you, you have the word. Y is equal to what? Log x over x minus 1 base e all over log 10 base e. So, according to law of logarithm, it says that if I have log A base B, and I don't have, like this base, I want to bring in base X. So, it's going to be log A base that X I'm bringing in, divided by log B base that X I'm bringing in. Okay? So, this is now Y is equal to 1 over log 10 base E. Why did I bring this in? Ah, because it's a constant. There is no variable X here. And in logarithm, you can shift the constant to one side. So, I'm having... I'm left with what? Lane. Let me use lane because log in base E is lane. I'm left with lane x over what? x minus 1. Okay? So my answer, y is equal to what? 1 over log 10 base E. Uh -huh. Now, if you want to remove 1 over in log with them, they can change. So let me remove the 1 over for them to change. If they change, I'm having log what? Uh, in fact, this thing can be written as lin 10. I can use lin 10. Let me use lin 10. Yes. This is what? Lin 10 bracket lin x minus lin x minus 1. I hope you can remember that what brought about division of this thing is because of minus in log reading. So dy dx is equal to leave the constant which is lin 10. If I leave the constant which is lin 10, Okay, I'm going to have lin x is 1 over x minus lin this one is what? 1 over that same thing. So, this is my answer. So, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate. God bless you.